this video, I'm going to show you the best gun bunch passing concept in Madden 22. What's good guys, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody and just wanted to let you know that our channel is devoted to helping you become a better Madden player. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I would encourage you to click the subscribe button down below. It's free to subscribe to the channel. And we're going to be in the Detroit playbook today, but you can actually find this concept out of almost every gun bunch. I think it's in every single gun bunch in Madden 22. It's in New England. It's in... Uh, Carolina it's it's in everything it's in Seattle it's in you know uh, Washington any good bunch has this concept and what I wanted to talk about in this video with you is how you can turn this into an absolutely lethal play um, I'm gonna give you maybe two setups probably um, I'll show you at least definitely one that I really like and then we'll see if we have time for the second one but if you guys want to learn how I run my gun bunch I've studied some of the best players in the world and how they run theirs and kind of put my own spin on it. So if you want to check it out, I'm going to put a link to my bunch ebook in the description below. Um, you can get all of my guides by joining my Patreon page, um, which is only $10 to sign up for. So if you want to check that out again, that'll be linked in the description if you want to uh, check it out. So the play is verticals from gun bunch and something really important. We know that with bunch this year, if you just flip the play, it is uh, it's a really fast flip animation as you see here I can flip the play really fast and so that's kind of part of it so what you want to do here is you want to run with your bunch formation to the short side of the field um, so you want your three wide receivers to be on the short side of the field now this is going to help for a couple of different reasons the first reason is because with this concept your tight end uh, wheel route is now going to be outside the numbers so that means that you know vertical hooks and stuff like that won't be able to defend it um, another thing that that means is that it's going to give more room and space for this crosser to get over the top of a 30 yard cloud flat so that's another good reason to run with your bunch to this side of the field and it also gives a lot more space for your running back out route to be more effective so we're just gonna put the running back on an out route if you want to put him on a wheel you certainly can but I like to just put him on an out route and snap the ball and my first read is the tight end if I can throw that tight end uh, I will throw that tight end every single time and I'll show you why it's so good so you're gonna see right here I've got two purples on the field but I'm gonna turn those into these uh, vertical hooks and what you'll see with these vertical hooks is there's gonna be this tight little window right in there where I can throw this ball against any kind of vert hook that they might have now if they are double mabling their concept or their defense I'll show you what that's going to turn out to be. If you wanted to wheel your running back, you can. I like to outroute him, but you can also put him on a wheel route. But what you'll see here is you might need to wait on it a little bit, and then you're going to low ball right in that little pocket right there. Click on, make a play. Very sim sim simple um, but effective way to be able to combat you know any kind of double Mabel, any kind of double Mabel defense um, that you're going to you know encounter. So the next thing that we're going to do here, and I'll show you real quickly, but uh, we'll just go with our, our double Mabel again. So the next piece of this is how can we handle when our opponent has a 30 yard cloud flat on the left. Again, if you have this crosser to the short side of the field, it's going to run fairly deep. You're gonna see here that the verticals crosser this year just passed it straight up. And as you can see here, it's gonna get over the top of that 30 yard cloud flat. Now, this is one of the main reasons why we want to run with our bunch to the short side of the field. If our bunch is to the wide side of the field, we would not be able uh, to be uh, to be able to beat the man or not the man, but the um, the 30 yard cloud. So, if I if my bunch was to the wide side, I'll show you. I'll just flip the play here. So now you see my bunch receivers. They're to the wide side of the field. So we'll just do uh, kind of something like this. Don't worry about too much about the coverage. But I've got a 30 yard cloud out there, and what you'll see here is this crosser is not going to be able to get over the cloud flat so that is one of the reasons that you want to run this to the short side of the field now if you're playing somebody that knows what they're doing uh, against this they might decide that they're going to try to defend this play with just a simple cover one robber approach and uh, again all we're doing is putting the running back on an out route snapping the ball this is kind of why we like this out route you'll see here that this out route it's fairly consistent against man right there. For whatever reason, the guy played me really, really well, but I'll show it to you again. If the running back, if he's on a wheel, he can still beat man, but he, I just find that he beats man a little better 
to the sideline. If you know, and then of course you got your crosser. Brady's gonna not be able to release the ball, but you've got your crosser uh, against man. Another thing I want to show you though, I want to show you the reason why I like Scotty Miller's route in just a second, but you'll see. See how that out route gets open. There you go. Boom. And the other thing that I want to point out here is a lot of people that run man coverage. They basically run it like this, where they're going to shade underneath. And this is where Scotty Miller comes in. If they shade underneath and there's no safety help over the top, a lot of times you could just lob this up and you have a nice little dot over the top of the man-to-man -man that way as well. So this is going to force them. I mean, they're not going to be able to do what they want to do from a from a man-to-man -man perspective, in my opinion, because you're going to see right here that if they shade underneath, and you have a good receiver, you can just lob this over the top, straight up, and a lot of times he's gonna be able to make the t make the catch for you, especially in Ultimate Team where you're gonna have a little bit better players to be able to ca go catch the ball. So now what they're gonna have to do is they're gonna have to go to something like this cover two man because that's how they're gonna be able to stop the, the wheel route or the outside fade. Well, this, w this route to the tight end, I will say like there is a way to throw this against man, but I will say that I personally am not very good at throwing it. Essentially, you're gonna to wanna to low ball it. So if he's just gonna low ball, you're gonna aggressive catch it. It's gonna look covered, but you could probably fit that in this year with how good low ball, uh, low ball wheels are. But the big route that you're gonna hit, like if they're gonna do cover two man, the big thing we're gonna do with this concept is we're either gonna hit our crosser over the middle of the field, or we're going to hit our running back out route as you can see because now there's no one underneath to even you know contest this route the last coverage i want to walk you through is match coverage and how this play works and then i've got one little bonus clip for your bonus setup it's just a concept but it's going to still build around that 30 yard or that uh, deep crosser and this is a match concept so if they're in like cover four match this is a great play what you'll notice with the match coverage is the wheel route to the tight end is almost always open. As you can see, you can throw that very quickly if you want to. The other thing that you'll notice about match coverage is your running back route. Um, depending on who you're playing, how they're running their match, a lot of times the running back route is going to be wide open because it's basically a worse version of man coverage, in my opinion, um, in terms of like how it defends running back out routes in particularly. And then the other read that you're going to have is obviously you have this receiver on the left if he gets a step over the top you can always lob it up but notice that this crosser for the most part will beat the match coverage there's some random situations where it won't but for the most part it will beat that coverage now the last setup that i wanted to show you this is a setup that's going to give you a little bit better protection you're going to block your tight end you're going to put your running back on an out and then you're going to take scotty miller put him on a smart routed in and then if you want to you can motion snap scotty miller to the left or I'm sorry to the right and it's just this simple you know concept right here and this is one of the best I think this is one of the easiest reads in the game because you have your you, you have your high low on the right um, and the left now another little concept you can do you can either out route your running back or you can actually in route him or put him on an out route to the right this is gonna create kind of a little drag little shallow concept that is really difficult for the defense to defend this year. So those are just some of the probably top two or three things you could do with this play. This crosser is so good this year, and you can really build around it. If you don't want to motion Scotty Miller, you don't have to. And what you'll see is he'll still kind of run underneath and force the user to have to make a decision on who they're going to guard, and you're going to be able to take advantage of the crossing route. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to learn more about my Gun Bunch offense, It'll be available by joining our Patreon membership. My Patreon membership allows you to get access to all 28 of my Madden offensive and defensive ebooks, and the bunch is included in that. So if you want to get my bunch offensive ebook, be sure to join our Patreon down below for just 10 bucks.